Um, the Housing Authority won Best Practices for Medium Size Agency. It won Website of the Year. It won um, Newsletter of the Year. Uh, Timothy Dumas, our maintenance mechanic, won Maintenance Technician of the Year. And Valestine Penn, one of our most committed residents, won Resident Violet Volunteer of the Year. Um, I guess it means a lot to the agency. I'm glad to see the agency recognized. To me personally, it says that we're doing things right. We're doing good things. You know, what we do, um, I've said it before, I'll say it again, you know, housing is a catalyst and it offers an opportunity for us to be a purpose-driven entity. And um, so to be recognized for our intentions of being a positive purpose in so many lives, that means a lot. So uh, what does it mean? Out of the five awards that we receive, I guess best practices probably means the most. Our youth build programs serve, our youth build program serves young people that in most instances don't have um, a positive trajectory right in front of them and when they get involved in our youth pro youth build program, you can see the purpose. You can see um, that, that light in their eyes. Our FSS program, we work with families to help them achieve self-sufficiency. FSS is family self-sufficiency. Um, so we offer, that program offers financial literacy training. It offers counseling for circumstances that you would, a lot of us take for granted of not having to face. Um, and it just offers that helping hand or that push to independence that a lot of people don't realize is readily available to them. So, like I said, you know, we do a lot at the housing authority besides the brick and mortar. You know, we're working on a home ownership program, we're working on a program for our youth, working on programs for our seniors. And at the same time, our constant attention is toward providing the best housing experience possible. So you asked a simple question, Alex, but at the end of the day, I would say the best practices tells me and those that see us from afar that we're doing something right. Newsletter first. Not a lot of agencies do a monthly newsletter. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying no other agencies do it, but a lot of agencies may do a quarterly newsletter. Some agencies don't do newsletters. But by us doing a monthly newsletter, we're able to communicate more real-time information uh, we communicate consistently by or before the first of each month what is going to the information that should be available in that upcoming month. Uh, communication is the key. You know, as I stated earlier, without communicating, you create gaps. And when you create, when you allow those gaps to exist, communication gets lost. And a lot of times you can't get it back. So our, our newsletter offers us an opportunity to communicate current events, upcoming events, um, necessary information, program related, lease related. Uh, we, it allows us to be inspirational. It allows us to um, be effective communicators toward offering the purpose for which we are here, which is partnership. You know, it's not us governing someone else's lives, others' lives. It's us offering or partnering to improve circumstances in everybody's life. So, and the same with the website. Um, Jessica Ford, our Director of Resident Services, pretty much leads the website initiatives and our Facebook initiatives. Uh, and we communicate real time every day. You know, one of the things that Ms. Ford has um, implemented there is the text messaging 
component where if something happens and you're signed up for our automatic test, text messaging, like last week we had the storm, we were able to communicate that we needed to clean, close early and um, safety tips and preparation tips to our residents and our housing choice voucher participants. And I think there's others that take advantage of our websites and, and the resources offered through the website. You know, so from an informational standpoint, communication is the key. And in today's age, um, the internet, website, Facebook, newsletters, if you're old like me and you, you prefer paper over electronics, so communication is the key.